Now, rarely I would would watch found footage films, even in horror, even though I've seen The Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield, but not this one, nor its sequels or prequels or spin-offs or what have you, until just last month. But now, I'm finally going to give this to you for Spooktacular October this year. So prepare yourselves as I talk about Paranormal Activity. Big T's Entertainment. Red Cakes and Reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duol, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 2007 supernatural horror film, Paranormal Activity. Now, although the film was originally independently released before Paramount Pictures acquired it, and released it two years later. This film came originally came out in October 2007 at Scream Fest, but it didn't get a full release until 2009. The film was produced, written, directed, and photographed and edited by Oren Pelley. It centers on a young couple who are haunted by a supernatural presence in their home. They then set up a camera to document what is haunting them. The film utilizes found footage conventions that were mirrored in the later films of the series. <clears throat> this is a film that really, well, started all again, even after we had recently gotten the Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield before this. Anyway... After Paramount had gotten the rights to it, the film became such a big success for Paramount and became a big film franchise. So now let's get into the, re to the story. Young couple Katie and Micah moved to a new house in San Diego. Katie claims an evil presence has been haunting her since she was a child. So Micah sets up a camera in their bedroom to record any paranormal activity that occurs while they sleep. Katie visits psychic Dr. Fred Fredericks, who suggests Katie is being haunted by a demon that feeds off of negative energy and is intent on tormenting her. He advises not to communicate with the demon without a demonologist, but Micah continues to film and seek it out. <clears throat> the camera captures many strange occurrences during the night. They start off as minor noises, flickering lights, and bedroom door movements, but over time escalate into violent door slamming, loud thuds, and demonic grunts and screeches. One night, Katie appears to be in a trance. She gets up, stands beside the bed, staring at Micah for two hours, and goes outside, none of which she recalls the next day. Micah brings home a Ouija board when the couple leave the house. The camera records an unseen force moving the board's pointer on its surface, which then spontaneously catches fire. Katie is increasingly aggravated by Micah's, <coughs> excuse me, Micah's flippant behavior and pleads to contact the demonologist, but he refuses. The couple find non-human footsteps on baby powder Micah sprinkled in the hallway. Its path leads to a burnt photograph of a young Katie in the attic, thought to have been destroyed in a house fire. Outside intervention is unavailable as the demonologist is out of the country and Dr. Friedrichs is afraid of making the demon angrier. That night, Katie is pulled out of the bedroom by an unseen force. Micah discovers a bite mark on Katie's back the morning after, motivating him to get out of the house, but Katie abruptly insists on staying. Now I'm going to give you the ending, and why you plus some others. Now then, there are some other endings to this as well, but I'll give you the actual ending we got plus some others. So I advise you to to stop this video, go to the description box below, and fast forward to the time below to avoid any of these ending spoilers. If you've seen the movie already, please continue. Alright, you've been warned. 
On night 21, Katie gets out of bed again and stares at Micah for two hours before going downstairs. Katie screams for Micah and he quickly rushes to help her. Afterwards, Micah screams in pain. After a moment of silence, Micah's body is violently hurled at the camera, which is knocked off the tripod, revealing Katie standing in the doorway with blood on her shirt. She crawls to Micah's body, then looks up at the camera with a grin. As she lunges back toward the camera, her face takes on a demonic snarl, and the scene cuts to black. An epilogue text states Micah's body is discovered by the police and Katie is missing. That would be the end. <coughs> However, there's alternate endings. Once Paramount acquired this, the original ending was shown at only one public viewing before being scrapped, and two new endings were developed, one theatrically released, and the other available as an alternate ending on home releases. Original ending is when Katie returns to the bedroom alone, covered in blood and holding a large kitchen knife, she sits on the floor against the bed and rocks back and forth. The next day, Katie's friend Amber leaves a concerned message at 2 p.m., visits the house at 9 p.m., discovers Micah's body downstairs, and runs away in pain. 30 minutes later, two policemen enter the house and reach the bedroom where they find the possessed Katie with the knife. Seeing them, Katie suddenly returns to her normal state and asks about Micah. After the attic door slams by itself, one of the police officers panics and shoots and kills her. The camera fades to black as the police officers continue searching the house for the source of the sound. An epilogue text appears dedicating the film to the memory of Micah and Katie. And in an alternate ending on home releases, after killing Micah off screen, Katie comes back upstairs alone, like in the original ending. She closes and locks the bedroom door, approaches the camera, and promptly slits her own throat before collapsing dead. And the scene then fades to black. End of story for all those. So, what did I think of Paranormal Activity? Well, after watching it last month, I gotta say it was not bad. It didn't really scare me much than, than what I had thought it would be. I know horror flicks are scary in scary movies, and well, you know what they call, they I have to call, I'll just call me your name. They don't really scare me. I thought this one would, but it did. Not even film, not even bits that would probably cause y'all to have a jump scare or something like that. But anyway, I really. Had some pretty good, well, pretty good experience with this. Now, I like the performances of Katie Patterson and Micah Sloat as Katie and Micah, Mark Friedrichs as Dr. Friedrichs, and Amber Armstrong as Amber. Yeah, they were all good in this, and I gotta say, they gave great performances. <coughs> Let me see. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I was just trying to see if I needed any more information. But anyway, the film became a surprise hit when it got picked up by Paramount. It went on to make $193 million worldwide. It got good reviews, according to Ron Tomatoes, using its Low budget effect and mockumentary method to great result, the film turns a simple high house story into 90 minutes of relentless suspense. Now, I agree with that. I like how this story turns out, how the story turns out to be, and what have you uh, for this. Again, incredible. Let's see here. Yeah, and there. Was no score, or what have you, but Oren Pelly's direction, story, co production, cinematography, and editing. I think it was all well done, and what have you, for this film. So, anyway, Paranormal Activity, again, like I said earlier, went on to become a success for Paramount, going on to have numerous sequels and spin off films, which I am going to review all of them this month. Now, I know there is current. There's currently seven of them. There's currently an eighth one in the works. But I heard it's not going 
well, not her, but I read it's not going to be out until next year. <coughs> but with everything said, with all that suspense and why we on the in the found footage form, and why we and with pretty good performances from its cast, would I recommend Paranormal Activity? Well, I'd say hell yeah. If you're into found footage films or maybe high house type stuff, then I'd say this is worth looking into. But if you're not sure you're into this, then maybe give it a one-time watch. But, so in other words, consider it a draw between Hell Yeah and give it a first-time watch. The first-time watch, again, it's only if, just in case, if you don't think you'll like this film and you might not be too well, you know what I'm trying to say. It's hard to, for me to say the right words. So anyway, what are your thoughts on paranormal activity? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big Bang Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of Paranormal Activity 2. So thanks for watching, and if you like this, check out these previous films I've I've recently done one of one of the found footage films I was talking about, the Blair Witch Project. That's in the upper left hand corner. In the upper right hand corner is Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Two. Or if you want some more spectacular stuff, go to the bottom left hand corner and see my spoiler free review for Scream 2022. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.